Now we come to the most exciting part. For the first time, we're going to launch Unreal Engine. Click on the installed version. In my case, I have more than one version. We're going to use 5.1, which, at the time of recording this video, is the latest full release from Epic. Sometimes your system may give you a plugin update notification, as in my case. Let's update the plugin. You can see the update progress in the download section. Now we're ready to go. As you can see, we have a slight drawback. The software will take a little time to process the shaders. Don't worry, it will do it the first time. The next restart will be much faster. The window that appears at startup is called the Project Browser. Here you can choose from a variety of templates. But why choose one template over another? The answer is simple. Unreal Engine provides the user with a set of environments already designed for a specific function. For example, if I'm starting a project for ArchViz, I'll have a whole set of parameters already enabled, such as settings and plugins. Of course, you can start from scratch and add parameters to the project settings and plugins later. We'll start from a completely empty project. We can choose to use C++ or Blueprints, the target platform, and whether or not to add the starter. We'll start from scratch and add these later. Once inside, we'll have an interface, which in my case, I've previously customized. But at first launch, you should find yourself with the default interface of Unreal Engine 5. Now I'll call it up to show you how the layouts work. In this way, we'll call up the startup interface. If it's your first time entering Unreal Engine 5, you should already see it. For example, for the nostalgic ones, we can load the elements in the layout we had in Unreal Engine 4. The Unreal Engine 5 interface is fully customizable. In fact, we have several ways to customize it thanks to the convenient hooks. In version 5 of Unreal Engine, priority has been given to the viewport space. So, for example, we can attach the panels to one side and only open them when necessary. I have one more thing to tell you about configuration. We have the ability to create our own layout scheme, export it, save it, and call it up at any time. Let's see how in this simple example. Well, regarding the layout, I think that's really all.
We'll see you in the next lesson.